it's time to install a new CO2 tank. I put this thing in in August, and now it's now mid-January. So I got about a little over five months in this bottle. I'm gonna install the Permaseal in the new tank just to keep it quick when I swap them out. I'm not gonna go over tight with this guy. Just hand tight. Just snug it up, not too tight. Take the old bottle out. Shut it down. adjustment knob. Carefully remove the regulator from the old bottle. to take that out and you swap line up the new one I do want to snug this guy up really tight well not super tight but definitely put some force on it as you turn it all keep moving the gauges so you want to keep it kind of level forward so I'm gonna tilt this back a little bit as I'm tightening it so when it gets tight it's not leaning forward on me. Still don't like the way that looks. sure that this is finger tight on the solenoid and I waited for this to be turned off with the timer oh my god it's leaning forward
got 800 on the dial. Go ahead and return our adjustment pressure knob. And it's going to still read 30 because it had some in there when I took it off. But tomorrow when it turns back on, and I can even turn it on now to double check. There, so you got bubbles going. We'll let the pressure bleed down. You can see it's moving now. It's on its way down because this is all the way loose. But while it's doing that, I'm going to take some soapy water and test this for leaks by putting a towel underneath and just dumping some soapy water on the pressure there. I'll see you looking for bubbles coming out. Pretty sure that was tight enough and I'm not going to get any leaks, but you're going to leave this alone for five months and make sure it's right. Maybe tomorrow, check it again and maybe torque it one more time, but in the meantime, you can see the pressure gauge going down. So, it's reading 800 pounds is what's in the new bottle. And right now we're reading 20 psi so we're gonna go ahead and add some pressure to the gauge by turning this adjustment knob it just grabbed the thread so now it's gonna start moving the needle up all right oh there we go and just a tiny bit more and that's about where I had it set and you can see I didn't touch the needle valve I left it alone all I did was tighten up the solenoid because it worked its way loose after five months but that's my bubble count from my settings from before and it's staying at 30 we got 800 and there's no bubbles coming out of the soapy water that I poured on there so that's about it guys I'm gonna go ahead and Putting this back up together, but first, remember you want to take this off. You don't want to return the bottle with the perma seal in it. So we'll save this for another another swap. But in the meantime, I can go ahead and turn this bottle off because it's finished for today. And that's about it. I'm gonna button her back up and hopefully. Um, this helps somebody if not um, I have seen some insulation videos but not a bottle swap so you guys take care